What's good, YouTube? This is Very Melon Man, and welcome to another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 online raid. So, today's actually the last day for the current raid, which is about fighting Android 17 uh, squared. <laughs> So to do that, we'll be go using Sub-Zero again. The Ultimate Android Evolved. Yeah, so I was actually caught off guard by this particular raid coming back. Um, for some reason, Xenoverse 2 raids, or I know these all these raids are actually reruns from years ago. So, yeah, I got caught off guard by the lack of an schedule update from when this raid was going to happen. Which is why I'm doing this on the last day, rather than as early as I could. <clears throat> it's kind of weird that it's called the Ultimate Android Evolved, though. So, what is going on here? Um, the prizes for this raid are as follows. The important stuff. If you deal, if you can rack up at least 15,000 points in damage, you get the camo bikini outfit for your female characters. If you get 30,000, uh, however, you get Super 17's outfit. But according to the TP, according to the um, Japanese website, there, you can also win up to two Super Souls. I don't think these were originally. I don't think there were, um, or rather, I don't think these Super Souls were originally there. I'm not sure if they were ever in the original Super 17 raid. They might be both be new. I won't know until this is over. One of them I do know uh, is very similar to the Super Soul of Awakened Hit in that he has... Okay, hold on a second. Super 17 Raid Super Soul. One of them is called Now It's My Turn. When you do a heavy guard break or a heavy smash, I think, it extends the time to guard break by a large amount and the other ability is the auto just guard, which is okay. So here's Super 17 himself. As usual, we're going to be using the combination of a golden super, uh, golden super frost demon, if that's what you want to use, and the universe's strongest super soul that boosts the damage of charged key blasts. because charged Key Blast for- Oh! This is another aspect of this boss that's actually really interesting because... Photon Swipe. Just one Photon Swipe. And I'll send it right back at him. He does the mind control and giant energy key blast um, raid move a lot. And he's not even poison either. He, like, the AI for this particular raid boss is 
Very determined to use... Oh, now he's been poisoned. Great. Well, it turns out that it was actually for not because... Oh, oh God. Spell down, swipe it. There we go. Man, that's so, that looks weird from this angle. Like, if you're blowing the key blast away at upwards angle, I think it makes more sense, but photon swiping when it's clearly hitting the giant key blast from above ground, it's really weird. Also, another thing about poison, guys, it doesn't actually increase your final score. Apparently, that's been disproven for quite some time, but for some reason, people still resort to poisoning raid bosses. Don't poison the raid boss. It literally does not benefit anyone at all. It just makes it harder for everyone else. Another thing is that stop using gigantic roar. Every time a raid boss is hit with something like Gigantic Roar, it causes the raid boss to enter a state of invulnerability to recover. That means any other super damage that we do literally never goes through. Volt on swipe. Volt on swipe. I don't know what it is about certain moves that actually just 100% have the potential to completely pull back the key blast. That's right, come to me. Oh, but Gotenks is actually pretty great if you have his Super Soul because his charge key blast will decrease the stamina of whatever they hit. So that was so he's a great for raid blast support. Why not? Emperor's death beam is sub marginally better. Like, it doesn't have all the same issues as something like Gigantic Roar does. But, honestly, yeah, we got a Z-combo on you. I'm actually going to keep that going, just because I, um, just because I like to give having a Z-combo in this video. Well, that was fun. Seriously, when you guys we guys can work together like that, when we can all work together like that, it's just magic. We make magic. That's like straight up. Oh, another Z combo. We're just juggling this poor fool. Jesus Christ. Like, overall, the difficulty of the Super 17 raid is not high. As long as you have a competent team, he's really just easy to ragdoll like that. Don't touch me. Yeah, I would say that too if I got completely juggled like you did, my dude. Alright, so how'd I do? I'm first place, of course. A ranking, that's incredible. Like, normally I get C's and B's on raids, because... Eh, but... Well, whatever, that's just life. A ranking, though, is very great. I'll take that.
in first place, surprising no one, is Casper950. But where am I? Hey, I'm... Hey, I'm gonna get the Super 17 clothes. So I'm pretty much done here. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh... You know, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on either another Dragon Ball Xenoverse raid or... Or... Pokemon Advanced Version. Yay!